Hey, welcome or welcome back to another video. Nobody asked for it. I'm Sarah and today I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different. So I'm going to be filming the day in the life of a reading tutor. So I work at an elementary school for anybody who didn't know as a reading tutor for grades K through 5. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes of what it's like to work virtually at an elementary school. So here's me setting up, pulling out my Chromebook, pulling out my folders. Now I'm opening tabs to get ready to present to the kitties. Oh, waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish they could get better. So those were the morning announcements. Now I'm just putting in my earbuds and getting ready to start in a few minutes. I'm taking out all the papers I need to present to the kitty. My first group is third grade. And I'll show you a little bit of that and how that works. I don't know, I'm trying to get the right angle. That's good enough. For the children's safety, you're not gonna be able to hear or see them and I'm gonna center all their names because they're minors and y'all need to know that information anyway so yeah I'm gonna get started in about six minutes I start at nine and then it's 8 53 please don't judge how I do my job um, I would never come to your job and tell you how to do your job so please don't judge mine you know I've noticed that a lot of teachers I mean I'm not a teacher but I've noticed that a lot of teachers get a lot of flock they're just trying to do their jobs the best that they can especially in these circumstances and people love to complain so please do not tell me how to do my job thanks so I'm going to show you my setup I use two computers because it is just easier for me that way I mean I could use Duelist which is this thing that splits the screen into two but it makes it a lot harder when it comes to presenting to the kids for them to see because Duelist makes things a lot smaller because you gotta go on two different windows so everything's significantly smaller and so are the kids so it's just easier for me to use two computers which a lot of people in this building do. I got my stuff. You know, this is, these are the papers that I use to teach the kitties. Oh my gosh, the horrible angle. <laughs> um, I'm not a vlogger, so don't judge my angles. <laughs> that's me. Oh, is that me? No, that's not me. That's me, kinda. Oh, yeah, I gotta get into the meat now. I like to get in five minutes before. Well, now it's four minutes before. The kids get in, always shut off quick access and shut off sharing their screen. I would show you, but anybody got time for that. <laughs> I usually just present my screen before they come into the group. All my groups are about 30 minutes long, but I usually try to end a couple minutes early so I have time to set up for the next group. And next week we're actually going from a half day schedule to a full day schedule and all my groups are going to change. The way I'm teaching is gonna be exactly the same. I teach all the kids virtually. Some of the kids are in person and some of the kids are at home. The kids should start coming on within the next couple of minutes. If you're wondering why I'm not talking loud is because I, I really don't want people to hear me. I get very self-conscious. Expectation, so our first expectation for reading group is to make sure you stay in my area. So that means you're staying in one spot and you're doing a really good job of that so far. The next expectation is to make sure you follow directions the first time. So that means if I tell you to do something, you do it right away. So I don't have to tell you to do it over and over again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sound. Good. Sound. Good. Sound. Good. Blend it. Good. When I blend those sounds together, we get the word gray. When I give you your word, you're going to tap it out and then you're going to write it into the chat. Your word is vain. Oh, vain, not vain, vain. Your word is pale. So good job, Seth. You spelled your word right. Vain, V-A-I-N. You were close, so strain is spelled S-T. 
R A I N. I just finished my first year of third grade, and now I think I'm gonna start filming from this angle because it looks a lot better, at least to me. I have five minutes until my next group, fifth grade. This is my favorite group. So we're gonna get started with our reading. Our strategy for today, like it's been for the whole week, is to read with proper speed. So as we already know, reading with proper speed means we're not reading super fast because we're more inclined to make mistakes that way, but also we're not reading too slow because that can change the meaning of things. And it also can sound awkward at times. And it takes away from proper expression, which we'll work on more next week. Why do you think our Ariella is doubtful that she can actually ride horses. Why do you think she's so doubtful? So doubtful means you have doubts. You don't you don't think something's gonna be able to happen. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a really good answer. That's right. Ariella is so doubtful that she'll actually be able to pursue the her dream of being able to ride a horse because she, like she says in the last sentence, there are too many obstacles. You know, her mom's very afraid because of her brother's accident and it's really expensive. So it's not something that she realistically sees herself being able to do. Good job reading everyone. I'm about to start fourth grade. Ooh, yeah. It's already 10, so they should already be coming in right now, but you know, sometimes they come late. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. Now we're going to go over our vocabulary words. So, what's our first vocabulary word, everyone? Good, that's right. Our first word is creaky. So, creaky means making a harsh, high pitched sound. Good. The next word is gear, and gear is equipment used for certain purposes. Like in our story, Uncle Mikey and Sal go buy fishing gear. Next word. Good. Now we are going to get into our story. No, mm, act. Good. Next word. Good, mad. What's the first sound? Mm, mm, act. No, what's the first sound? The first sound, what's the first letter? Good, Matt. You can mute. Yep, so t, a, t, t, a, t. Good. We're gonna start our trick words. Why don't you help us go over the word have? Good, now what are we gonna do next? We're going to spell the word have. So everybody unmute so we can spell the word have together. H, A, V, V E. Good. Now, what are we going to do? What do we do after we spell it? We air write it. So now we're going to air write it H A V E. Good. Was. Good. Now, what do we do next after we say the word? We're going to spell it. So now we're going to spell the word was W A. S, good, and what do we do after we spell it? Yeah, we air write it, so everybody let's air write it together. W, A, S, good. And now we're gonna go over our Kilpatrick's, his. You're gonna say the word again, but you're not gonna say, good. Your word is yam. Oh, yam, like the food, good. You're gonna say it again without the y. Sound. Good. Well, your word is your. Say the word again, but you're not going to say the y sound. Yeah. We're going to go over some of our letter sounds. E. Yeah, E makes the sound E. It's a little bit similar to A, but it's E. E. Good. H. <laughs> yeah, H is a weird sound. It's weird. It's like letting out breath. I, and what sound does it make? Can you say it? Good, that's right. It. We're gonna stop there. So you can unmute. Okay. Say that again. That's right, just like C. L. A. A. Yep. U. So close. So U makes the sound uh. 
not yet. That was that a little dance. Oh my god, the dad. I remember that from a few years back. You guys both did a good job with your letter sounds. Yes, I have heard of Mario Kart. So let's try another word. So can you tell me what sound? So just tell me the sound, not the whole phrase, just the sound. Good. And then T is gonna make what sound? Oh, good job. The word is at. So we're gonna put I and N together. So let's try it. I, can you say it with me? N. Good. In, in. What word does I and N together make? Good, it makes the word in. We're gonna put A and N together. A and N together make the word on. So now I'm done with my last group, which was actually cut short because we just got in from a fire drill. Well, we had a fire drill, so I had to cut the group short. So we ended up ending early, which is too bad because we were really making some progress with the kindergartners. I like their group too. I mean, I just recently got a bunch of new kids, but the two kids I was working with today were really good. So now I'm going to fill out my attention sheet. And then uh, after dismissal, because the kids get dismissed at 12.20, or at least dismissal starts at 12.20, but after dismissal is over, I'm going to leave because I only have to be here till 12 because I get paid to be here 19 hours a week. And even if I work 100 hours a week, I will only get paid for 19 so there's no point in me staying here all day long when I don't have to. So that is all the time I have for today. If you didn't hate this video, you could like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!